Uh, gotcha, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good one. Because I don't want to say the writing, because the writing is cool, right. but the rewrite process is what I don't like. Because I, I can tell you, when you have when you're working with others, and you have to let people do their job, right? Uh, right. So I had a story executive who I was working with on the previous project, and I'm glad she had me continually rewrite it. But when you're working with someone, it's like, no, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. The rewriting process can be frustrating because then it's like, all right, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, tell mm-hmm. me to rewrite this over and over. But <laughs> it's a fresh set of eyes and they see something that you don't see. Right. So I wouldn't say the writing process. I was honestly saying, like, the directing process is really fun because okay. you're making choices. Um, you're actually seeing everything that you've written and mm-hmm. live time you know what i'm saying um, right it's just fun you're making choices people are coming to you everybody's having fun and i like to run a calm ship as i say so okay. yes explain that yeah i like i like everything to be calm and organized because when you're calm and organized everybody else will be as well because everyone else is following your lead when you're directing mm-hmm. and if you're starting to fall apart i guarantee you everyone else is going to fall apart everyone else is going to be stressed because they're right. going off your lead off your energy off that, you know, things of that nature. So mm-hmm. di- directing, you can be the most creative. Um, you have to think on your toes. Um, you get to not, you don't really get to call all the shots. I, I don't, I'm not really egotistical like that, but you just get to really work with others, you know, make certain yeah. decisions. Some people may yeah. have better ideas than you. And, you know, you still get to either say yes or no. <laughs> you know, that's the, that's yeah. the about it. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's what I like working about. I love working with people, period. Yeah. But it's funny because my favorite part is the writing. Really? Okay. Uh-huh. That's yeah. interesting. So I think we need, you know, need us in different areas. So that's cool. Yeah. 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 I, I I'm a little, I'm gonna have to talk to you some more about directing. Of course. Now I really enjoy writing. It's okay. just the rewriting process that I, you know, because you know, your script is your baby. Yeah, so of course you're gonna think it's perfect, or you're gonna think ain't nothing wrong with it. It's flawless. Mm-hmm. It's that the third can have three, four typos. You'd be like, okay, so what? It's still good. <laughs> and then it could not make no sense. So it could be a plot, you know, a hole or something like that. And when you gotta go back in that kitchen and rewrite, that's uh-huh. magic happens. Have, but have you ever written something that is so clear to you, but your actors are like, Can you explain a little more? You exactly. see it clearly, but they need more explanation. Yeah, I've had that plenty of times where actors, I've written something, and it sounds right in my head, but then when you hear mm-hmm. the actor say it, and then yeah. it doesn't sound right, and they ask you, can they say it a certain way? And you'd be like, yeah, sure, let's hear it. And it sounds even better when they say it. It's like, oh, uh-huh. man, like, what was I thinking? <laughs> right. What did I write? Right. What can, you tell us, can you tell us about a project you're working on right now? Of course. Or before? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, so I'm working on getting my first feature produced, uh, my first feature film. Okay. And that is undoubted. And then I'm also currently in the process of writing my second feature about the Almighty Black Peace Stone Nation. Um, okay. Can you so, yeah. tell us about that? Do you want it? Can you share that? Of course. Uh, so, of course, the Almighty Black Peace Stone Nation is a project that I'm working on. And uh, the stones were founded here in Chicago, on the south side of Chicago. They were a very prominent gang in America. Um, and I feel like their history went unnoticed as far as what they stood for, their organization, their structure, um, their protection, their involvement in the community and things of that nature. You know, um, I feel like they get the light shine on a lot of bad that they did and not none of the good that they did and the things that they stood up for. Um, that's my project that I'm writing right now. The other okay. one that's done, my first feature, um, it, this was actually my first screenplay that I ever wrote called Undoubted. So it's been years in the making, plenty of rewrites, putting it down, coming back, working on something else. You know, um, this is my baby. You know, this okay. is before Pictures Only. Pictures Only is something I stumbled upon, I like, as I like to say. Um, this one is more so about the disappearance of Black women. Because as you know, Black women going missing is not only an epidemic in Chicago, but around the world and stuff like that. And it's something that people seem not to really care too much about for whatever reason. Or you have to raise hell for people. Right, to right. Um, so it's I'm about- sorry to interrupt you. Can you say the name again? Oh, yeah. It's called Undoubted. Undoubted. Everybody, mm-hmm. Undoubted. Okay. Yeah, it's Undoubted. 
and it'll be my first feature film that I'm planning to direct. Um, it's already written and produced. And this one, like I said, takes a look at missing black women, but also madams in a sense of, cause when you look at trafficking, you always see like the male get like all the highlights or all the, yeah. I mm -hmm. guess, airtime and stuff like that. When really, I feel like a lot of these women are doing the recruiting and the grooming and things of that nature, but you don't never hear anything about it. They're the masterminds behind it. Right. So why not make a movie about it? I haven't seen any movies out really about madams and stuff like that. So it's like taken, but with a twist. You know what I'm saying? Right. With perspective. So, right. Yeah. That that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I I always think about. I have a daughter, so. <laughs> I always think about things like that. And I'm glad you're bringing that more to light. Of course. Yeah, I have a lot of women in my family, a lot of cousins. Mm -hmm. um, I have sisters, things mm -hmm. of that nature. So, yeah, it's always on top of my mind. How do you navigate the balance between artistic expression mm -hmm. and the commercial demands of filmmaking, especially as an independent creator? So... How do you not make yourself commercial? How do you stay true to yourself? Mm. And it's hard. It is. It is very hard. I yeah. think I just go with the flow. I really just listen to my intuition, listen to my heart, listen to what feels right, and just stick to my guns. You know, I like to stay stand 10 toes on what I believe in, you know, have right. a sense of direction, a uh, sense of morality or morals. You know, I have things that I won't depict us as. You know, I have things that I won't go for and right. stuff like that. Um, Cause I know how powerful of a medium that film is, you mm -hmm. know, how powerful it can be uh, as far as influence and things of that nature and teaching people and educating people. So I feel like I, it's like my due diligence, you know, like Robert Townsend, uh, I was watching a call with him the other day and he says um, he has talents too. He can, he wants to use them for good. And, mm -hmm. You know, that that's where my motivation comes from. Wanting to use my gifts and stuff like that for good, not for the mainstream media. And, you know, if you do it the right way, the money will come. You know, the commercialism will come and stuff like that. So okay. you do it your way, it'll be right. 